So the assembly line analogy is often used for for talking about streams. I'm guilty of doing that too. I have done, I shouldn't say guilty, it's a fairly good analogy. Uh, whenever I teach streams to somebody, I say, well, it's like an assembly line. You get these things and then you're processing them. You have all these workers on that assembly line, that conveyor belt, doing different things. Each operator is sitting on that assembly line, right? It is, that is true for the most part, except that in the true assembly line, who controls when an item goes in, right? It's basically from outside. You're not basically pulling it. You don't have somebody in the front actually pulling new items and putting it on the conveyor belt. The item comes on it. So in that sense, the assembly line is a real apt analogy for reactive programming because with reactive programming, conveyor belt is keep, it continues to run. Something puts this thing on the conveyor belt, right? You don't know when it is. Somebody, external source, is putting things on the conveyor belt when an external event happens. And then you set all these things on the assembly line, these operators on the assembly line for operating on those things whenever it happens, okay? So in that sense, it is a true analogy. It's like items come over time and then you have set all these operators like when that happens, do all these things. And at some point of time, just like with the iterator, the iterator at some point of time when you when you ask next, 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 the iterator at some point of time says, I don't have anything else. The same way, here you can't say, you can't ask next, right? So the item keeps coming, but at some point of time, there is a signal which like, I'm done. There are not going to be any more items in the future, right? You're going to get that signal in the same assembly line and then you can put operators to handle that and do things with it, okay? So keep that assembly line al analogy in mind. Uh, we are going to do exercise two. We're at the top of the hour. It just clicked for me. I'm glad. It is, it is a nice moment when it clicks, when that aha moment happens. Um, subscribing method is pushing the data to the observer. Yes, the subscribing method is putting the hook in place to say this is happening. Okay, it's like you give it the method, you give it the uh, the function, the lambda, really, and saying when that event happens, call this thing. So it's almost like the source is keeping a note. Okay, when this happens, I need to invoke this guy, right? So it keeps a note and then calls it when it happens. So when you subscribe, nothing happens. The function doesn't run. But when the event starts happening, that's when the thing that you passed as an observer, that gets invoked. The observer pattern is basically invoking callbacks registered with the source, and the source calls it on every single observer. Yeah, that's literally what I just explained. So I'm glad you cut, you caught that. So that's basically what happens when you when you say I want to observe, nothing happens yet. When the event starts happening, that's when these invocations happen. The thing with reactive programming, though, is it's it's what's referred to as lazy. Okay, so there is a certain thing that you need to do to start the stream. Okay, it's almost like you you put all the people in the in the conveyor belt, right, in the assembly line, put all the people in the assembly line. At the end of the assembly line, you're going to have to press a button which says start the conveyor belt. You have to press the power button, okay? And the power button is the subscribe method. I'm going to talk about that once we get to the exercises. So you have to do that one extra step to say, okay, I've put everything, now go. Doesn't mean it's going to immediately start flowing in, but you have said, okay, my conveyor belt has started. So when the event comes in, the belt is going to carry it all the way to the end. Okay. So that's how this model works. But yeah, that's true.